So exactly. who's your top three rappers from ever all time? Top three rappers. Period. Yeah. Mm. Let's get some people mad right fast. Mm. We don't disagree with you. Hove, number one. You can't get mad at that. Hove, number one. Um, okay. Big number two. Pop Biggie. number three. Respect. Can I ask you a question now? Yep. Since oh, you brought up those Lord. two. I just want to know, man, because you know what? I'm I'm about tired. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm and, about and, tired of, of this. Of this, because I really feel like I'm gonna hold you, son. And like, you about to say something wicked? I'm about to say some wild shit, bro. About to say some wild shit, bro. Honestly, like RP, I for them to even pass early. But like, do you really think they would like be like the best? Big to, right now. Like right, right now, now like, like right, on some whole right now, we right talked, now, we stuff. talked about right, listen, that last podcast. Listen, I'm gonna put I it like this. Opinion, I'm gonna put it like this, and and I know because I know people who knew Big personally. Mm-hmm. Like I had conversations okay. about, you know, what I mean, like him personally or whatever. Like people who knew him. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people were saying that Big was gonna be bigger than that bad boy shit. Mm-hmm. Like bigger everybody who was on. Um, Nah, not necessarily that, but bigger than Bad Boy, like Mace and all that. He was already an established artist. Mm-hmm. So he was going to move on and get his own, like, Little yeah. Thing going yeah, on. like, and he had the commission with Hove. So you got to think about Hove would have been your first artist that you signed in your record label. Woo! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think about not this. Not wait, 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 not wait, not wait. Not, not, only, not only that, though, but then you got to. <laughs> lyrical ability, bro. Just nah, lyrical right, ability. Right, like right. so much juice that he dropped. Like you can listen to a big song now and it and it they makes you feel rotation. like it's right, right here. They still in rotation. Then the with Pac, well, Pac, Pac really touched the people. Like he really like he was there for the the single moms. Yeah, all that. He he was really. Speaking, dear mama hits the soul, bro. Yeah, Don't that's what I'm saying. He was home. he was really I speaking. I mean, he wasn't had a the little, best a super little lyrical little or nothing like that, but <laughs> he definitely touched I the love people. You, and, I love and with you. him, he had all the money. He was acting. He was doing all that. So nah, he was gonna get it anyway. No, nah, I know two. I I feel like it would have went like this. There's still alive. Mm-hmm. I definitely would have went way deeper into music. Yeah, I mean not music. Yeah. Uh, acting. Acting. Oh, fact. Yeah. He was a good actor. Way more deeper into acting. Juice. You know what I'm saying? Because he just. Played the hell out of every role, mm-hmm. right? Big, I feel like Big would have been where Hove is now. Like Hove is big into his businesses mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. other stuff, mm-hmm. but then he'll still hop on a song, give you a solid, you and know, be solid, hyped for it. Yeah, yeah I solid that. verse. You know what I'm saying? He just gave us a verse of the year for the year. Ooh. I think if that's a fact. Let me get my point. For the year. I don't like that when y'all say that because that was coming at me that that episode. Anywho, um, <laughs> anywho. Uh, I think if Big and Pac were still alive, the South wouldn't have shot up that fast. Mm. I disagree. I disagree too. You know really why I disagree? Talk because to me. Talk to me. Talk because, to me. because because you heard what Big said. Not from Houston, but I rap a lot. Mm-hmm. He knew where where the it game was. The next to blow up. Yeah, he knew. He knew. New York will always be. You ever see the beam where the dudes is climbing up the ladder and it's like. Other cities, and then it's like New York rappers, and dude climbing up the ladder, he pulls them down, yeah, just to get where he. Is. It's always yeah. gonna be like that, bro. Now, fact, always and forever, man. And you know, no, it's always gonna go around. But I think I don't. You think know what? Same. That's from that's from the OGs not uh, oh, bringing yo, us yeah. up, right? No nah. funny, like. But we take it's, it's slowly but surely. Our age group is changing shit. That's why we gotta be so proactive mm-hmm. with things. That's why the whole R. Kelly shit going crazy. What the all the nineteen to. 35 year olds are just catching wind of this shit like yo this nigga wildin we getting them out of here like everything like our generation is starting to move and shake shit now and all the old racist you know old minded people are dying off so Mm -hmm. like it's it's, it's slowly progressing into the time frame where everything's pretty much acceptable you get what I'm saying so Right. That's for sure changing. I definitely see that. I'm seeing it walking into grocery stores and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so now 